So, do not put any mods between Nintendo games now. Why? Because Nintendo will spy on you if you do. Yep. Nintendo Week will use extreme measures taken to track hackers. So, yeah, people who hack, you know, old GameCube games, you guys are in trouble. Those people who hacked Pikmin 2 to make randomizers or Pokemon, you know, basically, you guys are in trouble by Nintendo. So, Nintendo hacking efforts may be delayed, but not top NUP fixes. Hackers are suspicious that Nintendo is aware of their activities. It may be more dis cost to discuss on the internet. You know? This is what Nintendo does. Okay, Nintendo approaches non-threatening professional court this manner. Make a to provide business card. A gay name mode in the conversation. Acknowledge, but, yep. Yeah, it has a deferred in priority. And relate Nintendo's concerns. You know? But... They're essentially going to, you know, surveillance. They was also create detailed plans to detour and avoid in order to get them back down from hacking the DS. In documents, IRC chats involving Nemoid are good so Nintendo covertly extracting information from Nemoid. Ultra's response to the issue is based on what he says. He's, the details of the terror plans to oppose the void are remarkably detailed with multiple stages of potential outcomes mapped out in a flowchart. There's also a detailed plan of the Nintendo week of kind of how Nintendo plans to post the void, including time steps and these plans here. Basically, Nintendo is going to watch you if you hack a 3DS, or if you hack a Wii U, or if you hack any Nintendo consoles, okay, or probably if you hack a game. But I think it's probably not, oh, it's probably not if you hack a game and like put like a mod in your game. Like, oh, I put custom enemies in my game. I think Nintendo's probably not worried about that because they're just making the game different or putting a randomizer in Pokemon. I think Nintendo does it so it can prevent stuff like the Giggly from ever happening again because Nintendo wants to keep betas of games behind closed doors. I know people want to see betas of old games, but Nintendo really wants to keep that stuff behind ho ho closed doors. Because the game was not complete yet. And yet, Nintendo has had a long history of hackers like every other company. Sony and Nintendo, you know, and Microsoft also had a long history of hackers as well. But yep, now you know, if you hack your Nintendo consoles, essentially, Nintendo will be watching you. They will be. And that's basically it. Goodbye.